This presentation is about the entry requirements for undergraduate and affiliate medicine. Please note that these entry requirements are correct for the time of the recording, but may have changed by the time you're watching this video. As such, please consult official sources of information, and we will link these in the description below. For undergraduate medicine, the most two common uh, pre-university courses that people apply with are A-levels or IB. For A-levels, you need two A-stars and one A. For IB, you need 40 to 42 points, with 776 at a higher level. For other qualifications, please see the official Cambridge website, which we'll link in the description below. For A-levels, you need to have chemistry and one of the subjects of biology, physics, or mathematics. A majority of applicants have at least three sciences or maths, and some colleges may require something slightly different, but all colleges require chemistry at least. There is no real difference between having three or four A-levels, so you may apply with three or you may apply with four, and there's a range of three and four A-level applicants and people who study at Cambridge uh, throughout the cohorts. IB is similar and requires a high level at chemistry and one of biology, physics, or mathematics. Competitive applications typically have higher levels in two science subjects and maths, and some similar to A-level, some colleges may require uh, something slightly different. Please note that if you are applying with an undergraduate degree already and you're applying to the undergraduate course, it is best to speak to the admissions office to know what the requirements are for you. Graduates may also apply for the standard course as an affiliate student to one of Lucy Cavendish, St. Edmunds or Wilson colleges with at least a good honors degree, which is a 2-1 or above in any discipline and passes at A-level or the equivalent uh, pre-university course. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at our emails, socials, or our website, and do let us know what you think of the course so far. Thank you.